Um, so in this uh, part of the course, um, we will um, talk about programmatic file access and data parsing using uh, MMC files. Uh, the next, please. Um, so in the beginning, I will introduce what structured data files are available in MMC format, what's their content, and how to access the files. The next. So, of course, the first uh, in the list are atomic coordinate files that we already uh, covered uh, earlier uh, in this course. Uh, the files contain a coordinate section with the X, Y, Z value, residue names, numbers, um, atom names, atom types, chain IDs, ACM IDs, temperature factors, occupancy values. But the next, please. Um, the atomic coordinate files also contain metadata information, such as uh, uh, entry title, authorship, citation information, entry composition, um, source uh, information, experimental details, um, data collection and refinement statistics, uh, and so on. Uh, also, the files contain um, derived and added information, for example, a reference to the relevant uniprot uh, sequence uh, with annotation of sequence discrepancies, if there are any, like shown in the example here, um, information about the secondary structure, um, assignments, assembly information, um, unobserved residues, links, um, and so on. Next, please. Um, the next uh, type of files are uh, chemical component files. The chemical component dictionary is an external reference file describing all residue and small molecule components in the PDB. The chemical component files contain the information about the ID, name, formula, weight, molecular weight of the component. Uh, they contain a coordinate section with two sets of coordinates. One is the model coordinates based on which the component was first created. And the other set uh, is for uh, a software uh, generated ideal coordinates for the particular molecule. Uh, the files also contain uh, atom connectivity section as well as um, additional descriptors, such as smiles and inchi synonyms, if any, and uh, additional identifiers. Uh, the next, please. Um, structure factor files, those are uh, experimental data files for crystallography uh, structures. They contain information uh, about uh, reflection indices, measured value of the structure factors and intensities, their sigma values, free flags, some metadata information. And uh, note that those files might contain several data blocks. Uh, for example, uh, one data block um, uh, providing data used for the refinement. Um, there might be additional data blocks uh, for used for phasing, unmerged reflection data, or anal anomalous diffraction data. Next, please. Um, validation reports are now also available in MMC format. Um, those files contain the same information as in the corresponding PDF or XML format files. They are well organized and easy to parse. Um, they contain the information about um, structure quality at the entity chain and residue level. The next, please. Biological assembly files. Uh, biological assembly is a macromolecular assembly that has either been shown to be or is believed to be the functional form of the molecule. The files, the biological assembly files contain the full biological assembly for a particular structure, including all symmetry generated copies of each chain within all within a single module with distinct uh, chain IDs assigned to them as shown in this um, example. Note that the files might get very big and 
uh, check if your visualization software uh, actually supports instantiation of assemblies directly from atomic coordinate files. This is just for the for the for better efficiency for the efficiency. And next, please. Now moving on to the data access, um, the main PDB archive is maintained by the WWPDB at files.wwpdb.org. The data are available through the HTTPS protocol. Note that the FTP protocol will be phased out on November 1st, 2024. Um, the directory structure um, uh, is, or, or rather a, a sub a kind of a section of it is shown here on, on the right. Um, note that the atomic coordinate experimental data and validation reports are grouped by the two middle characters of the four character PDB identifier, like shown in, the, in this example here. And uh, sort of similar logic applies to the chemical component dictionary files uh, at the bottom example. The next, please. Um, PDB also uh, supports a so-called versioned archive. The versioned archive contains latest and prior versions of each PDB entry, or rather latest minor of each major version um, for each uh, uh, PDB entry. A major version number increment is triggered by the updates to atomic coordinates, polymer sequence, or chemical description, and minor version by other changes to the metadata. Note that in this case, the data are grouped using the extended PDB code, uh, like shown in this example here. Also note that the PDB archived and version archive are updated on Wednesdays at uh, midnight uh, UTC time. The next, please. The rcsb.org uh, also provides a variety of data access and download options. Um, Shown here is an option to download uh, multiple um, files um, at a time. The next, please. Of course, uh, the files, uh, individual files can be accessed uh, uh, through the download option at each structure summary page, as well as we provide a direct uh, short style links for convenient uh, download as shown uh, here on the right side. We also provide uh, compressed binary and header only files as well as um, uh, chemical component dictionary files. The next please. Um, of course the direct URLs are convenient to use for programmatic file download like shown here in uh, using the URL lib uh, Python module that we will uh, describe more in details in further in in the course. Uh, the next please. The rsync options are also available, which are helpful uh, when uh, maintaining full copies of the archive. The information uh, is uh, you can find it on um, uh, uh, www.pdb.org website. The next please. Uh, as well as we provide uh, the annual archival snapshots, um, you, you can access it uh, using the link provided here on this slide. Um, the example shows a, a, a section of the archival snapshot from 2018, for example. The next, please. Uh, we do provide the web services, uh, the data API and search API services. Um, for example, data API um, can be used to retrieve data when you know the PDB identifiers. Um, the services follow the MMC dictionary and um, the data are extended with annotations from external resources. We provide two interfaces, REST API and GraphQL interface. The, uh, the data output is in JSON format. We provide tutorials that can help you to um, use the services. If you are interested to learn more about our web services, we are uh, preparing a separate uh, course uh, dedicated to this uh, topic. 
the next, please. So to summarize, um, the MMC format is flexible and extensible and can accommodate a diverse structural information available as um, atomic coordinate files, structure factor files, chemical component files, biological assembly files, and validation report files. And um, the PDB provides individual and batch file download options through the FTP, HTTPS, and RSync uh, protocols. And um, that concludes uh, my part of the presentation. Uh, let me see if there are any questions. So we have a question. Um, Binary SIF only available at PDBE? Um, no, the, the RCSB I already mentioned also provide the option to download binary files. Um, there was another question, can I download header only files? Yes, the answer is yes, you can uh, uh, download the header only files in MMC format. Um, will the RCSB continue providing an option to download PDB format atomic coordinate for all future depositions uh, added using MMC format? So whenever the, you know, whenever the PDB format files, whenever we will be able to generate the PDB format files for the file, for, for, for the entries, we will provide an option to download the PDB uh, uh, formatted files. Uh, can we please get the registration link for the web services related courses? Sure, as, as soon as we have them, uh, we will uh, advertise um, uh, the, the links uh, to, the, to those courses. The, the next speaker is Dr. Chen Xiao, and he will talk about uh, data parsing using MMCIF uh, formatted files. Over to you, Chenwa.